everybody and welcome back to another video now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at windows 98 more specifically how i install windows 98 the cool way because well honestly i think more people should know about this in this way of installing windows 98 because because this will allow you to install the drivers and run certain parts of the setup without needing the disk at all so like let's say when you install windows 98 and it tells you you need the disk and all that well with this we can bypass that so let's just say you have your computer right here it's you got your windows 98 disk your, your hard drives clean everything's all set up and ready to go so we're just gonna turn on our computer here and first thing i i like to do is i go when we boot i go to boot from cd-rom and then I go to Shift F5, and then in the ter in the terminal here, I type in F disk, because this will allow me to create a partition for the drive. So in this case, I hit one, because this will allow us to create a DOS partition. We can create a primary DOS partition. That's what we're gonna do. And as you can see, this doesn't take very long at all. And do you wish to use the maximum amount of size? Well, in this case, yes but if you're if you want to use another version of windows on your hard drive well you might want to say no so yeah as you can see this is, again it's going by pretty quick and well that's it we're done in that part so and if it tells you like missing operating system or if it's not booting you have to go into the bios so so it's for here for my case it would be f2 because we're in a virtual machine and we want to go to our boot and we want let's move removable drive down there and we'll move hard drive down there so our cd-rom will be top priority so we're going to exit saving the changes and next we're going to boot from cd-rom and we're actually going to start the computer with our CD-ROM support. Actually, yeah, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go into our disk drive here. We're going to go into our Windows 98 directory. And we're going to type in format C colon because we're going to format the drive. And if possible, you want to do a quick format, which in this case, it's probably not going to let me. So, yeah, it's just not going to let me, which either way, it doesn't matter because, yeah, we're in a virtual machine. So yeah, this shouldn't take too long, like at all. And for our volume label, we're just gonna call it Windows 98 SE. And let's go into our C drive here. And we're actually, what we're going to do is we're gonna make a few directories. So we're gonna make directory windows, make directory windows slash options make directory windows slash options slash cabs and then we're gonna go into our windows slash options slash cabs and we are going to copy the setup files so there we go so yeah now all of our files are pretty much copied over so now if Windows 98 needs something that usually is on the disk, we can just get it off the hard drive now. So what we're going to do is, yeah, we're just gonna reset the computer. Usually in this case, you're okay with booting from the hard disk, but it's probably not gonna work because it never works with me for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work with me. So yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, we're, okay, yeah, we're gonna go into our C drive here. And we're gonna go into our windows slash options slash cabs and we're gonna run our setup and I usually like to do the IS switch because this will skip the scan disk and there we go so now we're in our setup here let's just go along with the setup now here we're actually going to select other directory because Installing it to Windows.000, it just won't work. You won't you won't be able to boot into Windows. So we're just gonna select other directory and we're just gonna delete the dot zero zero zero. We're gonna hit yes. 
because it, I don't know why it has to tell me every time, but and we're and I usually just I just hit you know we're just gonna do typical for the purpose of of this video and we're gonna do win 98 se just for the you know what no 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 we're gonna do farts there we go and it's gonna tell us to do to get a start disk which we don't have so we're gonna hit cancel to skip that part and yeah here we go it's gonna install Windows 98 and yeah if you were to do this on actual hardware what I what I'm doing you'll notice a huge difference in performance like like a big jump in performance for the installation because using a, even a slow hard drive is technically faster than using a disk so yeah it it's it's just yeah I recommend installing heck any Windows 9x version this way so yeah I can imagine the reason why Microsoft allows you to do this is because technically this feature I guess is meant more for the OEMs because if you guys don't know OEMs back then they would always like let's say you bought your computer from the store and you know you plugged it in and everything you turned it on and guess what you didn't even need a Windows 98 disk because all the files were came pre-installed on the drive this is exactly how they did it so but yeah no you can actually do this too if you want hell you can actually copy the files to a hard drive with the right format of course because the reason why I say the right format is because Windows 9x is so picky when it comes to partitions and formatting it's it's weird. All right, so we're gonna boot from the hard disk. And yeah, here we go, getting ready to run Windows for the first time. So our name, we'll just call it Bulls. We're gonna accept the agreement and we need our product key, which let me skip this part. Here we go, so yeah, now it's gonna look for our drivers. And because now the drivers are on the hard disk, well, it's going to be so much quicker if you're doing this on actual hardware. I would take the disk out, but I don't know if it still kind of needs it. I know once we pass this part, usually we don't need the disk. Alright, so we're set. So we just hit restart now, and let's see the magic happen. And of course, we're going to sign in here. And if we take out our disk... We're going to disconnect. It should not give us any troubles. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Windows 98 Second Edition, or whichever Windows 9X version you're, you're using, because you could actually do this with 95 or Windows ME. It's just, just change Windows Win 98 with Win 95 or Win 9X, and you're good. So... Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you like the content, you know, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share the video. It would really mean the world to me. And until, no until next time, guys, peace.